What's this all about? Us. This couch is about us? This couch is ours, this bed is ours, this apartment is ours. They have to say. I don't think I understand. Isn't it obvious? I'm making a commitment to you. You mean... You want to live together? Here? Together? Don't you want to? Yeah. Yeah, but I didn't think that... that I mean, I, I, I never thought you knew that... I, I mean, we haven't talked about it. I knew. How? Oh, just by the way you acted when I was around Robin. You just, um, I don't know, you just, uh, talked and acted like a person who was serious about us. Oh, I am, baby. I'm so serious. I, I want to be committed to you forever. For, forever. <laughs> or as long as I make you happy. I hope that's forever. Oh, you too. No one can make me happy like you. <laughs> I've waited so long for this. Do you know that? Yeah. We don't have to wait any longer. No. No more being apart. <laughs> no more waiting. Call you have to return. Thank you. I have a message for you. Unless you've already talked to Rick. No, I haven't seen Rick since lunch. A short, not very productive lunch from my point of view. Well, then I just might that cheer you up. What's that? Well, Rick has done an about face in regards to Dr. Patrick O'Connor. You sure? Mm -hmm, I'm positive. He's already talked to Dan, and he is very much in favor of having Patrick stay on. <laughs> so how do you like them apples? Rick's all right. It's a little difficult to get through to sometimes, but not impossible. <laughs> well, whatever it was that changed his mind. Hi, Yank. I've been looking for you, Doctor. Oh. Um, excuse me. Oh, sure. Okay. Amy. Did I hear you talking about Rick over there? You may have. Would you uh, give me the new burger fire, please? Sure. Um, did you know that Bobby got some time off? Yes, I did. Do you know why? No, I don't, but I have a feeling that you do. Well, I think it probably has something to do with Terry, and probably if it has to do with... Dr. Larson, call radiology. Dr. Larson, call radiology. A bomb threat. Where did this come from? I got it in the mail today. Same emblem. Green tiger claw. We'll call the police. Well, I don't know if it's a real threat or just a show of bravado. They tend to do that. The elusive, mysterious they. Now, this is Stryker. Give me the Port Charles Police Department, please. We know it's an Asian gang, but... Why would he send you a bomb threat? I don't know, maybe just to cause some trouble for my brother? Perhaps. We're going to take this very seriously. Uh, Captain Ramsey, please. Yeah, Ramsey here. Uh, this is Buzz Stryker from General Hospital. Captain, you've got problems with that Asian gang. I've got another letter here. Oh. Well, what is it, Doctor? The green shirts are threatening to blow up a warehouse in the Asian quarter at 8.30. Several calls today. Those green shirts are cruising the streets in force. Your letter cinches it for me. What are you going to do? Put out a task force immediately. Start them on a warehouse detail. What about Robert? I'll be in touch with the commissioner, but right now I want to get things started. Good luck. Yank, it seems there's more to it than just this letter of yours. Something serious is going down. I'm going to help Robert and Storefield and handle it. Yes. Why don't you try and get some tea, baby? What's that now, Um, 
I don't know, darling. I'm... Maybe it was just a mistake. Well, then how come he ran away? He hurt me. I know he did. I don't know that either. He was Robbie. You? Well, why don't you just cuddle up with your doll? And, um, maybe you'll see him when he comes back. Maybe Robbie will play a game with me. Maybe he will. Yeah, maybe he will. When I grow up, I'm going to have someone like Robbie. Well, all of them. Maybe you shall. And if you do, you must hold on to him tightly so you don't lose him. Just the way you hold on tightly to your doll. Tightly. Yes, Alright. See you in a while. I think, Bert, we've got to search every warehouse on the waterfront. Well, if the note wasn't a hoax and the bomb is real, we'll find it, Robert. We have to assume it's real and we don't have much time. And I've got every available unit out there. Uh, what about these, uh, these young Asians who sent the note? These green shirts. Well, the task force is on the streets in the Asian quarter trying to round all of them up. Good. Well, uh, you'd best prepare for evacuation. Okay, I'll do it. I'm on my way. Robert, do you think that there could be some connection between this, this bomb scare and the threat to Robin? It's possible. The same insignia was used on the note for the bomb that was used on the threatening notes to Robin, for the tiger, these ubiquitous green shirts. But why would they want to place a bomb on the waterfront? Well, perhaps it's a diversion. In any case, we can't let her out of our sight in view of what happened on the waterfront today. Tell you, Robert, I'm really scared. That was no accident. I mean, it was it was physical assault. Physical assault, me, Robbie. 